In this video, I'm going to show you how to screen record on your iPhone. So first we're going to find and open our settings app. Then we're going to scroll down until we find control center and tap on that. Then we're going to scroll almost all the way down until we find screen recording. And then we're going to tap on this green plus sign. So now if we scroll back up, you can see screen recording is included in the list of included controls. And if you want to rearrange these controls, you can just press and drag here and rearrange as you prefer. So now we're going to go back to our home screen and then we're going to pull down from this corner here. And this is the control center. And this is the icon that we just added. This is a shortcut for screen recording. So if you just tap on this, it'll start counting down from three. And now it has a red animated button, which means it's currently screen recording. And if we go back to our home page here, home screen, we can see that the time now has a red oval behind it, which means that it is now recording whatever we're doing on our screen. So once you're done with that, you can just tap here on the red oval and then you can tap stop. And now we get a little notification. And if we tap on that, it'll take us directly to the screen recording that we just recorded. So you'll see that control center in the beginning, and then it was showing my home screen. And then eventually I <laughs> swiped over and swiped back. So now one thing you may want to do is edit that first part out. So you can tap here, edit. And on the bottom here is how you can change the, you can trim the beginning and end basically. So let's say we want to trim out that first part with the control center. I can just tap here and slide it until there, the control center goes away. And then now if I press play, it should start from that. So once you've trimmed it as you would like, you can do other things here on the bottom, but I won't go through those. Then you can tap done. And then you can either save as a new clip or you can overwrite the current video and just save it. So I'm gonna overwrite it and save video. So now if I press play, that first part with the control center is no longer there. Okay, but one thing you might wanna know how to do is how to record with sound. So that's similar, but slightly different. So we're gonna go back to our control center. And now instead of just tapping on this icon, we're gonna go ahead and press and hold. So if I press and hold, now we have this microphone option. So by default, the microphone is turned off. If you wanna turn it on, you just tap once here and now it says microphone on. Now this setting will remain for forever until you turn it off. So you may have to keep uh, going back and forth whether or not you want the microphone to be recorded or not. So from there you can also tap start recording here or you can just tap outside and then we can tap here. And one trick is if you get rid of the control center screen before the countdown is over it actually won't record this control center so you don't have to do that trimming. So let me show you that real quick as well. So I'm going to tap here once. It's counting down. I'm going to get rid of that. All right, so now we should be screen recording and you should hear my voice along with any changes on the screen. So again, we just tap that time red circle to stop and then tap stop again. And so we get this re uh, notification that a recording has been saved to the Photos app. Now, if you don't happen to tap on that right away, the way you can access these recordings is just go to your Photos app, which looks like, th which looks like this. And then you may need to go, if you have a lot of things, you can go all the way to your albums. And then there should be a screen recordings under media types. And that'll filter all of your um, photos and videos to just show the screen recording. So if I tap here, now I see the two screen recordings I just recorded today. So now if I tap on this second one, which should have some sound, I also need to tap here to allow sound should hear my voice along with any changes on the screen. If you found this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up down below as it really helps this video and my channel and consider subscribing if you want to learn more about your iPhone.
Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.